Ah, where are you? Hello. Whew. Oh boy. Okay, we're here. Huh? Ah. <sighs> well met. Oh, hi. Uh, hello everybody and welcome to Valheim Online. My name is Dave. I'll be host for this episode as always. Um, we have just joined, um, the server. We got a bunch of things in our inventory. Um, I don't, I don't know why. I played a little bit in the single player world, and this seems a lot like my single player stuff. Did I bring this stuff from the single player? That's weird. Um, I just got attacked by a thing, though. Um, hi. Hi, Hugin. Uh, what you want? You've been granted the power of Aether. Uh, use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. To go there, explore the lands, and uncover the lost treasures and resources the Elder awaits. Um, yeah, so people on the server have already killed the first first thing and I guess we now have that power I don't know how any of that works um people are playing on here and I've seen on the map Grimer's over here so let's head over to Grimer and see what's going on a wild finesse has appeared Ooh, uh, oh, oh, not so wild Grimer it seems like hey I got <laughs> hey. some threads yeah hmm oh very fancy very fancy welcome welcome to the world of uh of Valheim online hmm. very nice very nice um I've, I've, so you already beat the first beast, right? Yep, first uh, boss is dead. We're on day two hundred and like thirty some, and we've only beaten one boss. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so I've joined, and I was told I I've gained a power of the first beast. I don't know what that means, Grimer. What does okay, that mean? Okay, so what that means is that if you press F, you're gonna do something epic. Press F once. I it, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Okay. No. Well, it's not as epic as I thought it would be then. Bit okay, of a well, down. if you it, did, you click on this thing. Oh no! Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, now press F. Epic. Yeah. Okay. So what that does is when you're running around, your stamina will drain a lot slower now, as long as this is in effect. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, and I see a top right five minutes. And it regenerates pretty quickly too. Hmm. Um, you can do that every twenty minutes. And I, I was saying next to you, so I have the ability as well because of that. So if you do that next oh. to people, they'll grant to get it as well. So you can do it as a group or whatever. Neat. You get like three people that have that ability, three or four that have that ability, and you basically never have to turn it off. Grimer. It's cold. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm cold and I'm hungry. Wait, I have you're some. Cold and you're hungry. I got some cheaty berries. So it's okay. I can I can show you where Spawn Town is, and there's a portal network there that'll take you right to more of my bases. Oh, that would be good. First, I gotta talk to uh, Hugin for a second. Oh yeah, yeah, the oh, invisible want. bird because I can't see him. <laughs> when the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seek shelter by an open flame. Uh, seeking shelter by an open flame is the best option when this happens. All right. Bye, bird. Goodbye. Don't mind my crunching. All right. Uh, well, uh, northwest of here, I believe, is Spawn Town. All right. I'll try not to outrun you here because my stamina is probably just insane. I've been running everywhere in here. My stamina or my Oop. running ability is really high. Uh, we have some guests over here. Uh huh. So is PvP on or off? No, it's off. Unless you turn it on uh, with your character, it's off. Hmm. I see. All I was right. just wondering if I would hit you. Oh. oh no! In fact, you can train that way. You can you could just beat the hell out of me, and it'll it'll actually level up your skill. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Spawn Town is where people kind of have been doing community stuff. I think Flues is set up over there. Mm -hmm. There's a deer right here. Uh, Flues is set up over there. Uh, Mega Grand is set up over there. Silski. Nice. Uh, Trilobites is set up a little bit farther north of there. They haven't done any building at all. I've just been walking around uh, oh, doing things. Friends. So. But I've heard the building is really cool in this, so that's kind of why I want to check it out. Yep. It is a lot of fun. Ow! You good? Yeah, I'm fine. I got some cheaty berries, you know. Nice. It's all good. Alright, ah. so this is basically spawn town here. Why are we doing this at <laughs> night? Ah, uh, because <laughs> you're here at night. I mean... There's no other reason, really. If you had <laughs> logged in a little earlier, we could have just done this during the day. But all right, so I built this thing uh, a little while ago. This is a uh, this is our our portal hub. There, there's portals. 
Yes, you can build portals to warp you to different places. Mm. Uh, you can assign whichever place you want. I actually have one in there that will lead you right back to my base, which has food and shelter in it, so I figured that would be a good place to go. Yeah, that sounds all right. So my portal is the one under the blue banner right here. It's labeled Grimer. You just walk right into it. Oh, I got you all the way. Oh, oh, way oh, boy. Place. I get all the crafting recipes. Why can't I craft things now? Oh, it's because you're nearby my workbenches and stuff. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. By being nearby upgraded workbenches, it will cause you to do that. That was beautiful. Oh. Okay, you are exposed. Huh? Welcome, brother. I'm exposed. Right, let's get I need let's some get pants. Here so, you can, so you can warm up and get a rest of the buff. Okay. Uh, if you'd like some food, there's... Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> get up. Not the time to take a nap. Um, there should be plenty in this... Uh, which chest do I have it in? I don't really have much cooked. Yeah, I'll just give you some food. How do you drop there's things? Meat. Oh. Oh. Uh, you pick them <laughs> up in your inventory and drop them. If you shift-click, you can decide how much you want to grab, actually. You, you didn't have to throw that out of the window, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh did it go out the window? Yup. Wow, man, I got quite an arm. <laughs> um, throwing so a lot of meat around. If you, if you hit E on these beehives, if it says it has honey in it, you can get some honey out of them. Ooh. That replenishes over time, so it's not like it's a big deal. There's plenty of beehives you can get a bunch of honey from. It doesn't last very long, but it, uh, it uh, gives you good health regen. So... Mm. And you'll notice that your maximum health and stamina increase when you have food in your stomach. Hmm. So you have three different types of food. And so the more different variety of food you have in your stomach, the more health and stamina you'll have. Nice. So if you're standing in here, you get that resting perk. And it's that Comfort 9 underneath it on the top of your screen. Yep. Um, comfort 9 is will determine how much of a rested benefit you'll get if you sit in here long enough. So if you sit in here long enough, you'll get like a three red symbol thing popped up saying rested mm -hmm. and it should be for 16 minutes while you're in here yep and what that means is that you if uh if you want to check your active effects if you pull up your inventory with tab mm -hmm. you can click on the raven the uh L, uh valheim com compendium yep uh and it'll tell you active effects if you look at what rested means you feel rested health and stamina regeneration is higher health regen 50 percent stamina regen 100 percent it's really handy to keep yourself well rested, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're doing like any fighting or boss fight or really anywhere, um, to have a spot where you can just kind of calm down and relax. Uh, you can get that perk. You can get that perk. The bare basics you need to get that perk are enough to build a campfire. Oh, okay. That's it. Like if we go outside right here and we're just out here in the cold, if I were to grab my hammer to build uh, build stuff with and grab a campfire and smack that bad boy down, if you go next to it and just hit X, you'll sit down, Ooh. and you'll see you'll get resting comfort level one. So you'll get at least eight minutes of this if you sit here long enough. Now, we're already past that if we were sitting mm. in there, so it's not going to really show up. But that's how you can basics get it, you know? Mm, good to know. Uh, so you can you can be on the fly, and you can get it. Did you make a hammer yet? No. I'll make right, a you hammer. should be able to make that on the fly. Yep. And that's that's a handy tool for building. That's, I that's have a hammer. for building. And uh, the crow should have probably showed up to say, yo, you got a hammer. Oh, um, Hoogin is everywhere, dude. <laughs> yeah, that thing won't leave you alone. All right, if you right-click with the hammer, it'll pull up your crafting and your building stuff. Oh, okay. I see. So the first thing you ever want to build, no matter what you're doing, is you want to go to the crafting tab, and the workbench is what you want to select. Okay. Crafting or workbench. Where do I put it? Uh, Yep, now you right-click someplace with that, and you can place it. Don't worry, anything you place, you can always just remove. And when you remove items, you get the full resource value back, unless oh. it's damaged by rain or whatever. So Nice. All right, so now if you try to click on the workbench out here, it's going to tell you something. It's going to tell you that it's it's exposed. It needs a roof. Yep. Uh, so to use a workbench, you have to have it inside. Mm. So you'd have to build a roof. Now, to build, you have to have a workbench down. So when you're, when you're working on building anything, you have to put play, first place a workbench. Okay. And then after that, you can build within a radius around it. And if you grab, like, a wall or something like that, you'll see the radius around it. Like, if you right-click with the, the hammer and pick, uh, go to building and pick anything there. Hmm. Yeah, I see. You'll be able to see the white dotted line around it. Yep. That's You have to build within that radius. Like, you can build outside of it, but you have to be within the radius. Oh, okay. So, I have multiple workbenches around here, so you might see other ones pop up as you go to different places. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. So that's that's basically how you build. You can literally start off by just slapping down walls, you know, and then you can put roofs on them and stuff. Oh, and they can build together. I see. Yeah, they they have snap points. If you ever want to get something that's not quite on a snap point, you want to do it like freehand. Hmm. Um, if you hit, hit hold on shift, you can. It doesn't really snap as well. The thing actually doesn't snap at all. Oh yeah, I see. There's already a lot more to this game than I than I expected. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun when you get into fights and clearing out skeletons and whatnot. And the bosses, the bosses are epic, man. We could probably get you into boss fighting shape like right now. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Why I not? mean, the first boss isn't too hard. I actually beat him with my fists. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went Captain America on him. I equipped the round shield here and just wham, beat the crap out of him. <laughs> um, you can also kick with a, when you're unarmed, you can kick yeah, with the middle mouse button. I've been doing that a bunch. I think it might rain. Yep, it's raining. Or oh, the fog's moving in. Oh no, it's raining. Um, the spawn stones that you spawned in on, if you press M to pull up your map, you can actually see those on the map still. Mm hmm. Um, there is a, a red tablet kind of stone there that if you click on it, it'll tell you the location of the first boss. Yeah, I've done that in the single player world already. I didn't mm -hmm. summon him, but I, I went to the place. Yep. And to summon him, you need two deer heads. Ah, I see. Yeah, I figured it would be deer something because yep. I saw the, saw the thing, but I didn't do it yet. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, the boss fights in here are pretty epic. Uh... Epic music, epic everything. Hmm. I think can, he summons a storm around him whenever you summon that one in. Can you redo them? Oh, yeah. You can oh, do cool. them multiple times at the same time. Oh. Oh, that Last sounds Last time we fun. did the first boss, so we actually fought four of them at once. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I'm interested. A good thing to have for the first boss would be a bow and arrow. Okay. So, uh, you can make those at a workbench, actually. Okay. Uh, the crude bow is your first one. Crude bow, and I need more leather for that. Yep, so you need leather scraps. Those are dropped by boars. Yeah, I have so one at the moment. Boars. I got a, a cheaty leather scrap from my single player world. Uh huh. Well, let's see uh, if we can't find more. So we need to we need to kill boars basically. Hmm. Like I could I could give you some, but I mean I think nah. it'd be better if you just explored and, and experienced. Are there any boars around here? I thought I saw someone over by these rocks earlier. Maybe there's still some over there. Well, Hugin is here. Yeah, he's, he's not leaving me alone. Yeah. yeah, it's best just to talk to him and get it out of the way. Oh, there is a boar over here. Oh, you're over there. Oh, you can make yourself visible on the map, too. That's what we've oh. done, just so we know where people are. If you bring up the map in the bottom right, there's a little thing to select for visible. Oh, I see. Yeah, there we go. That way, when you're like, I need help, and people are like, I don't know where you are. Hmm. You know, at least now they can see. So there's a boar right in front of us there. Yeah. Got him. There's also another one right here. Yeah, I've noticed they axe does quite a lot of damage real fast, so... Yeah, if you have a full belly, though, then, uh, you know, you can tank the damage. Sweet. Alright, so now you should be up to three cheaty leather scraps. Uh, one cheaty, two, two regular. Yep. Hmm. How many did I need? Ten, right? Eight. You need eight of them. Oh, yeah. okay. So I might be a little bit because you kind of have to explore around. But this is also when you'd be collecting your resources and scouting out a spot for your base and wherever you'd want to build. You could build near Spawn Town. I know uh, uh, Flues would like having people over there. Mm -hmm. We have noticed, the reason why I built way over here, we've noticed that when there's more than a few people together, it gets a little laggy. Mm -hmm. so. You hear that clicking there? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Those are necks. They're, um, they're little, uh, these guys, yeah, little lizard guys. Uh, if you kill them, they might drop their tails sometimes. Oh yeah, I was attacked by and, one uh, as soon as I joined. <laughs> yeah, and when they, if they drop their tail, let's see, yeah, which I think that one just did. Um, it's right here behind this bush, it's sparkling, you can see. Kind of, if you want to pick it up. All right. That, that thing you can cook on a campfire, mm -hmm. and it'll give you something else that you can eat, and it actually does pretty good for stamina. Yeah, you can sneak up on and you can actually, uh, try to kill one of those things. Early game, that's kind of the first thing. Is yeah, one of the things you want to do is try to kill deer. Comes in real handy when you get a bow. Got him. Nice. Uh, oh, there we go. 
Thought I didn't yeah, drop any. Yeah. No, I got a leather helmet. Dropped, uh, oh no, dude, recipe. Drop. I see. Yeah, yeah, it should drop meat. Oh, there's another deer over there. But it should drop uh, some raw meat and mm -hmm. uh, leather. Yep. And possibly even a deer head. So that's how you get the deer heads that you need for um, fighting the first boss. I see. But once we get enough leather, you can get a bow also. And then you can just shoot those things from a distance if you can sneak up on them. Like, there's a bird right there. Oh, I, yeah, I got a neck trophy. Oh, you dropped oh, that, yeah, I guess. Uh, Oh yeah, I just checked out because I don't I actually see. know what those are used for. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, there's a deer right here. Got him. Fancy. <laughs> so if you wanna, if you want some extra leather, there you go. <laughs> I got plenty. So. And I got a deer trophy. Nice. So there's a bird right here also, which you can get feathers from them if you kill them. So the air, bow and arrow is the way you take those guys out pretty mm. easily. Feathers are used to make uh, different types of arrows. But yeah, basically all we're doing is hunting at this point. Yep. A little hunting trip. Gathering up. Yeah, looking for boars. Another deer. There's another neck over here. The clearing's like, oh, there's a boar right here. I just ran right past it. <laughs> Where is it? Right, right behind me, right here in the trees. Oh, I am very blind. <laughs> I, I didn't even see it until I was on top of it. It disappeared. You might find like one or two star oh. things. Also, those are just higher tier things. They do more damage, have more health, oh, and they provide more resources too if you can kill them. I got a boar trophy. I don't actually know what those are used for yet. I guess they look cool. Maybe. Uh -huh. Coming up on someone's base here. Actually, I don't know whose this is, but it looks pretty awesome. Ooh. Like, the roof looks awesome from here. I'm going to go investigate. I see south of Spawn. Hmm? Yeah, it's easy to spot the boars here in the uh, in the open. Let's see if there's a sign that they left here or anything. This looks like a really good build. They left some food in the back there. Oh, this is Ancient Bunny's place. Ooh. Yeah, cool. the bed is assigned to her. That looks beautiful. This is also a good spot where you can come inside and then uh, dry off and get that rested buff again if you want to refresh it. In this case, we need to have a campfire going, so we just throw a piece of fuel in there. And we should be able to get it here, I think, once we get dry. Comfy. Yep, Comfort That's 7. Good. Nice. So I believe it's it's 7 minutes plus whatever your comfort level is. So this should put us at 14 minutes of com of rested when uh when it, it kicks in. Okay. How long does it take to kick in? Right oh, there, there we go. Just did for me, so yeah. Nice. Not very long. You can also use people's workbenches on the fly to repair your stuff. Uh, oh, you can it's repair made out of metal. This. You need a forge, though. How do I repair things? Oh, yeah. When there's a little hammer icon next to your crafting things that you can make. You just spam that. It takes no It takes oh. no uh, material to repair. Well, that's so, weird. Yeah, just spamming it works just fine. Eh, it's basically like you got a little crack on something. You just kind of tighten it up and you got her. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it, it, there's no cost to repair. Uh, so you don't need to keep remaking, like, stone axes or whatever. Mm. You make one, just repair it, and you're good. All right. Crude bow, craft. Got I'm going to need arrows. So mm. if you make wooden arrows, those work. All right. So you make yourself a, a handful of arrows. You could have, you could probably, hold, you can hold up to 100 per stack. So I usually make a butt, buttload of those things. So let's just say you have two different types of arrows in your inventory. To mm -hmm. assign which one you want to use, you pull up your inventory, and you simply right-click on the arrow. That you want to use, it'll highlight it blue. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, like right now, I have the regular wood arrows assigned. So, if I fire the arrow off, it, it does that. But if I assign my uh, fire arrows instead, I can fire those off, and that's what goes instead. Nice. How do I use uh, the bow? Okay, so yeah, you have it equipped, oh, right and click. you just hold down. Yep. Left click, even. 
hold down left click and then it'll cause your cursor to get narrowed in a little bit more and then you can let it go to let it fly um it will drain your stamina to draw it back hmm. can you pick the arrows back up nope you can't place your arrows that's one thing that sort of sucks hmm. um but uh the crude bow has quite an arrow drop right now like if you aim at uh here try try to try to shoot me if you can if you stay back there i'm gonna go stand in front of this, by this rock try to shoot me oh no nope, that was pretty good i landed on my feet but you get the idea of the arrow drop then so you have to aim kind of high then you know yeah i aimed at your head there, we go. there you go you got me got me right in the chest nice uh, so yeah, the arrow drop is pretty extreme on the crude bow. The fine wood bow, like the one I got right here, the arrow drop is significantly less, so you can actually, and the, the velocity is a lot faster, so you can actually kind of really hit things a lot easier. But that takes, you have to get to the metal age to even get this thing hmm. legitimately, at least. There's a different way you could get it. You need fine wood, basically, to, to craft this. And if you were to knock down some beech trees, beech wood trees, and they knocked over a birch tree, you could actually roll that log around until it breaks on something, and then you could get fine with that way. <laughs> um, uh, sounds intended. Yeah, but ideally you'd have to get a, a, a bronze axe, one of these guys, and then you could cut down the birch trees. Hmm. So, and then you can get fine wood. Cool. So I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot, but you got a bow and arrow now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like you're using your axe as a weapon, which is good. I mean, that's fine. That does the same as the club. And if you increase your skill in axes, then you'll do more damage with them than you will with clubs. Hmm. Um, me, I'm more of a mace guy because you can do the ball shot with these things. Wham. <laughs> but <laughs> Looks painful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, keep working at that stuff and uh, mess around with stuff. Figure out how it all works. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably get some resources now. Try to build something. Mm -hmm. Little solder hut. Yep. Uh, you set your spawn at a bed. It takes, like, I think 10 wood or 8, 20 wood or something like that to build a bed. Hmm. So, yeah, if you build a little hut, then throw a bed in there and set your spawn on it. And if you end up dying, well, then you'll just respawn there. So, after a good tour of Grimer with lots of knowledge for the game, um, I think it's time for us to go and maybe find a place to build. We are currently in Spawn Town, and I think I do want to build in Spawn Town. Since I don't really know all too much about the game just yet, um, it's probably a good idea to stick around. And also, you know, community, playing on a multiplayer server, probably should, um, you know, be around other players. So, this is Spawn Town. Um, there's a house, there's a house, somewhere is the hub. I think that's about it. So, where, that, that's the hub. Where do we build? Maybe on the other side. Um, I don't think I'll build a big house just yet. Since, I mean, I don't even know how, how the whole thing works. The whole building. Um, I think you can build bridges. Maybe building over there on that bit of island. That could be cool. Hey, somebody built over here a set of structure. Something generated. That is. Ooh, trying to fight me, huh? Thought he could sneak up on me. No, you can't. All right. Um, all right. This seems... Yep, somebody's definitely living here. Loads of chests. Zobie's bed. Nice house, Zobie. Um, oh, somebody's building over there as well. That's a portal. Hello, Hoogin. It's a charcoal kiln. All right, well. A lot, a lot of things I don't know anything about you just yet. All right, let's uh, find a place to set up. I think this little peninsula could be uh, sort of cool, right? Uh, the river all around. Spawn City is right over there. Um, you can see a building over there if you look closely. And Spawn City will probably uh, grow a little bit. I mean, this is not a lot of room, so we can't really build big just yet. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to start it over here. So I guess, first off, we're going to clear out some things. Once I have more stamina, and then, I guess, workbench, some walls, I don't really know, like, I don't have any experience building in this game just yet, so, uh, this will probably be a laugh. We should be able to manage, oh wow, cut down two trees at once. We should be able to build, like, a little solder hut, though, I'm pretty sure. 
So, first things, we want a workbench, and we'll place that thing here. Wait, should we flatten out the area first, maybe? We might want to flatten out the area first. So, we go to this one, and then seven, and you can't have that. All right. All right so, we go level ground. All right. Very right, nice. Takes a bunch of stamina, but, you know, works pretty well. I guess. Alright, that should be enough. Uh, now we place this thing down. Okay, we can rotate it. I see. Um, let's have the workbench. Let's see. All of that is river, so the entrance will probably be over on that side. Right on that side. Um, let's have the workbench like that. Aha! Now... Uh, wait, we can't use it yet. We gotta go to this thing. Building walls. Alright. First off, uh, wooden dwarf frame, I guess. Yeah, that one. And we'll have that like, like, like this. Okay, we'll put that all here. Okay, we'll have a door. Very good. Oh, come in. How do I. How do I. E. Cool. Cool. That's a, it's a start. <laughs> um, oh, maybe I should place on the floor. Yeah, floor sounds good. Um, is there foundation stuff we can do? Uh, let's see. Wood floor, two by two. Um, can this snap to that? I think it did. Okay. There we go. All right, that's a start. Um, do we want to have this a little taller? We probably do, right? Two, two, two high walls is probably the way to go. Yeah, we definitely would hit our head uh, if we were to just build a roof now. So how do I... Wait, this has to turn around, and then that snaps to there. Cool. Can we do that? Actually, how about... We have, like... A window up there above the workbench. Get some light into there. Snaps onto that. Very good. Let's have one more over here. Like that. And we'll have these. Right there. Let's see. Cool. And then mm, I guess we do wood floor for now. Up there. And we'll see if that counts as a roof if we now oh nope not over there right over there we now can use this thing um nope empty hand crafting needs a roof all right so that doesn't work yet i want to have a second uh floor but i guess we gotta wait for that for now i will get rid of these again get all the stuff back let's see building Roof. That roof. Sure. We'll go like that for now. Just for over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Good. Can we use this now? Hey, we can use it now. Awesome. So I can repair my things over here. Nice. Um, Repaired hammer. Awesome. What's the first thing that we want? Probably. Um, I mean, I'd like, I'd, I'd like some pants. We need required station level two upgrade. Um, how do I upgrade this? Uh, raised by building improvements. How? I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll figure that one out probably. Uh, first off, we uh, let's let's build um some rack pants. Yeah, let's let let's do those. Ta da! New item. Pants. Uh, now, uh, inventory. And equip. Oh, do they stay in our inventory? Oh, we already had something on. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even realize. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're wearing pants now. Fancy. Definitely a little bit better. Um, maybe some shoes would be nice. 
Oh well. Um, what else? Um, craft. We want to make some more arrows so I can go some more hunting. Um. All right. Helmet would be nice. Shield would be nice. We need some more leather scraps for that. Uh, I guess what we should do now is first off get some more wood to continue building, and then figure out how to upgrade the workbench. Uh, yeah. So I've done a little bit more building. It's getting cozy. Uh, we're pretty much done, except we don't have a roof. Uh. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not worry about that. But now, uh, I wanted to upgrade the workbench, right? Is that a fish? The first, first sea creature I've seen. Or maybe that's a neck. I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's upgrade the workbench, right? I have read that you can, that we can build a, um, a chopping block. And for that, we need flint. So along the riverside, we can find flint. And then if we select our hammer. We can go to crafting and get this thing, chopping block. We need 10 flint, and we currently have, in our inventory, uh, 9 flint. So, one more, then we can build ourselves a chopping block, and that upgrades the workbench, I guess, if it's close enough. Uh, give me, give me, give me that. Oi! You wanna fight? You wanna fight? I don't think so. Look at the flint. Sweet. So now we can build the thing. Do we just have to build it somewhere in the radius? It's red everywhere. We can build it here. I guess it has to be just that close. All right, well, we'll put it here, I guess. For now, there we go. Now we open this. Um, it's level two. Look at that. We can craft fire arrows if we we could. If we had feathers. Okay. Okay. So we moved up into it a little bit. Get some deer hide. We can make a leather helmet. A flint knife with some more flint. I see. We can upgrade our tools. I saw there's like a flint axe. Let's make a flint axe and see if we can upgrade that one. I don't know if we can, but yeah. Let's let let's get ourselves a flint axe. So flint axe. We'll craft that thing. Ta-da! New item. And now when we go here, flint axe. We need three flint. And what does that do? I'm not sure. Well, let's have a look. Um, that's the hoe. That's the stone axe. The flint axe. It's right over here. There we go. Um, let's see. Slash damage. That goes up. The weight stays the same. Quality too, however. Uh huh. More durability. That's nice. And yeah, well, it does more damage. Cool. Let's do that. Upgrade, flint axe, we'll click that, and ba bam can we just do that again now? Uh, let's see, flint axe, uh, no, we need the uh, station level 3, so for that we probably need to build another one, like another uh, upgrade thing. I'm guessing another chopping block won't be that, uh, let's see, have a look, if we go here, we can have a tanning rack, which is probably a workbench improvement, yeah, it says down here. And for that, we need deer hide, bunch of flint, um, alright. Well, that's kind of cool. I will go ahead and do that probably in the next episode. For now, I... Okay, I, I do want to try to fight the first boss, right? Did something just fly by? Yeah, no, I, I want to do that. I got to deer head. Oh, over here, I think that's what we need. Um, I should probably make another chest, drop a bunch of the stuff off. And then we try fight! Well then, here's the, uh, the the summoning thing. We got the power of this boss already, and we got 68 health. We just had 69. Damn it. <laughs> um, let's do some some offerings. Uh, here, let's do that over there, and now we press seven. Oh, okay. What now? Pick the bow. Oh, there it is! Oh, <laughs> catch! Oh, we didn't hit him. Did we hit him? I think we hit him. Okay! Shoot him. Yeah! Burn him! Okay. That went alright. Hit him again. Raman told me that the uh, fire arrows are probably 
really strong against them, so I made a few of those. Aha! Ow! Should we try our flint axe? Oh! Alright. Actually, not that much. Ooh, nah, they're a bit better. They're trying to, trying to run away, huh? I got my torch! Yep. I tried to block that. I think I did. Okay. Whoop. Get him. Hit him. That's look pretty cool. Alright, I think I'll stick to bow fight. Okay. Okay. Bow fight. Yeah. Got him. He's burning. Hit him. <laughs> Come on, try me. Burn him. I think if we just keep tagging him, oh, that wasn't good. Uh, he'll he'll die eventually. Okay, well, that one didn't hit us. Even not a bite. I'm, I'm kind of busy. This is going pretty well, though. And grammar is right. The music's pretty sweet. Okay. Shaky screen's a bit, bit much. Whoa! Ah, missed. Got him. Got him. Okay. Don't, don't, don't run away. Okay. Far enough away for that. Oh, we held the boat for too long. Oh no. Oh no. Can't run. Can't run. Can't jump. Oh no. Bit more melee. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> dodged you. Hit him. Right in the ankle. Nice. <laughs> oh, he's, he's cutting down the trees for us. That's nice. Oh, no, no. I actually put that up. Nice. Whoop. Did manage to jump away from that. Come on. Come on, you want to find me, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is it's not not that hard actually. I think I'm a little over over prepared. I made later paints. That's how prepared I am. All right, don't get too cocky now. Yep. Get him. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, I like it. Pick up the trophy. And the antlers. Right, um, who Hoogan, I'll speak to you in a second. I'll just... D d d don't mind me. Mm-hmm. I need this. Alright, Ugin, what you want? What you want? Tell me. Return to the sacrificial stone with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the smile to make the smiles gods upon you. Yes, to make the gods smile upon you. Um I'm guessing that is Um when you are supposed to get the the buff. But we already have that since the other people uh, fought the bus before us before we joined. I guess we can go there, see if something new happens. Yeah, no, nothing new, but we already know that we can do the thing. I actually had an active during the fight. Awesome. Well, that went really well. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I don't know what, what I do with with this now. Uh, I mean, we, can, we can't we can use that on the trophy hook. Okay. There's another one over here, but I'm guessing this is for different trophies. Probably. Huh. I wonder if I can put this to my place, though. I don't know. Well, I guess I run back home and continue building a little bit. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode video stream. Whatever that will be. And until then, see ya.